What's a fked up fact you just can't believe is true? Elephants can control their dick like a second trunk. I saw two elephants get it on in Berlin Zoo. The first startling thing was the prehensile penis finding its way in. Just like a trunk. The second startling thing was all the other elephants running about and trumpeting in a big celebration of the act. All of them. Kids. Adults. Like a big fuck party way hey they're doing it. During World War 2. Japan bombed China with fleas infected with the bubonic plague. Let's not forget their initial defense plan of 10. 000 suicide vehicles of various types. If that didn't work. It was expected that all 100 million of the Japanese people swarm invading forces and give their life for Japan in an attempt to dissuade the American public from continuing the war. If bees were paid minimum wage for their labor, a jar of honey would cost $182.000. Another bee fact. Bumblebees are always 45 minutes from death in the air. They expend so much energy flying that they need to hear every 45 minutes or die. So. They literally don't give a shit about anything other than finding a flower. That sharks have been around longer than trees. Yes. Trees. One that I personally think is more interesting is that sharks are older than Saturn's rings. The youngest person to ever give birth was 5 years old. And she's still alive and outlived the son she gave birth to. One of the more famous politicians here in Hungary got a suspended jail sentence and a little financial penalty for the possession of more than 19000 pedophilic photographs. He got away with it just like that. Who tf let that happen? Edit. The name's Coletta Garber. I wasn't trying to hide his identity. I just figured people would find him on Google anyway from the information I've given. But yeah. He does have a name. That's it. Who tf let that happen? Other pedos. In the beginning, Japan fucked up their non-stick Teflon pans. They knew high exposure to TGE stuff was bad but they never did anything about it. As a result, traces of forever chemicals can be found in 98% of the American population, and probably beyond. The movie Dark Waters describes the whole thing very well. At the end of the movie they say traces of foa can be found in virtually every living creature on the planet, including 99% of humans. You're statistically more likely to randomly die during a USA Powerball lottery drawing than win it. My great uncle won the Powerball and died of a heart attack not long after. Humans are pretty slow runners compared to other races. But we are the best throwers on the planet. No other species can throw stuff like we do. This is why in case of danger, throwing things in the direction of a hostile animal may scare the shit out of it. Being able to kill from a distance is a huge evolutionary advantage. JFK's convertible wasn't scrapped after he got shot in 1963. A roof was welded on and it was used by Presidents Johnson, Nixon, Ford and Carter, right through to 1977. It is at the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit. HTTPS colon slash slash www. For Henry Ford. Org visit Henry Ford Museum exhibits presidential vehicles. Edit. Form Ford. Some tumors can grow teeth and hair. You don't wanna google that. Edit. It's called a teratoma. Edit. Looks like it can also grow eyes, non-functioning, muscles, bones and even some brain cells. A family member of mine had a huge growth in her womb which, when removed, had teeth and hair. They also had to remove one of her ovaries during the removal. Awful. 2050 is closer than 1990. Cleopatra lived closer in time to the first iPhone than to the building of the pyramids. How horribly the Amish treat animals. They run some of the largest puppy mills in the US. My wife and I started a horse rescue. 80% come from Amish country and they are treated horrifically. Every single one we get is at death's door from years of being overworked while abused and neglected. We've made breakthroughs on a few but most are irreversibly scarred and we give them sanctuary for the last few years of life. Dogs like squeaky toys because it remind them of a small animal being killed. Which is why you probably shouldn't be frustrated that they kill them. That's like the whole point. I grew up Africa. Edit. Zambia. When we were 5 we were told not to swim in dirty water because of Bilharzia. Schistosomiasis. Microscopic worms that burrow into your skin or enter up your urinary tract and then lays eggs inside your body. Sexual intercourse with a horse is still legal in some American states. I read this as still illegal and for a second thought you were part of a horse fucking movement. 
Dolphins will bite the heads off of smaller fish and use the corpses as a makeshift flashlight to get off. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Why can't we all be more like animals and just duck each other? A fish light. If you will. Some random dude in Soviet Russia saved the entire world from nuclear annihilation on a hunch the incoming missile warning was wrong. Edit. His name was Stanislav Petrov. HTTPS colon slash slash. En. M. Wikipedia. Org wiki Stanislav Petrov. An educated hunch. Because he only saw four intercontinental atomic missiles approaching. Out of the hundreds the USA had at the time. Chainsaws were invented to cut through the pelvic bone to help women give birth. To be fair. They were smaller. More precise chainsaws than we use today to cut down trees. The second most expensive house and one of the biggest slums of the world are in the same city. Anshalia, one billion dollars, is owned by India's richest man, Mukesh Ambani, and Deravi, one of the biggest slums, both in the city of Mumbai. Oh and Anshalia is second to Buckingham Palace, two dollars, nine billion. Humans are faster than horses over marathon distance. For those questioning this, the post says over a marathon distance. This means over 26. Two miles. A horse is obviously faster than a human and this post does not mean every human can run faster than a horse. That's how we used to hunt, jog down our prey. We could do it for hours. And the prey animals had to either walk which was slower, or sprint, which was faster but they could only do it for a short distances. Forcing them to repeatedly sprint and walk. Eventually they just dropped from exhaustion. The Vatican archives are something like 50 miles of information that almost nobody can see unless they know it's there and put in a formal request to see a specific thing. My understanding is that nobody can enter just a browse. You don't necessarily have to know it's there. The way it works, functionally, is you give them a list of works you'd like to see. They will see if they have them and, if they do, decide whether or not they want to let you see them. If they consent. You are permitted to view the text in a locked room with a pencil and paper for note taking. It sounds draconian. But most museums operate very similarly. Understand that the Catholic Church fully intends to exist forever. Therefore they need to protect these works forever. Protecting something forever is very difficult. You are more likely to be bitten by a New Yorker than a shark. Imagine going scuba diving and out of nowhere a biggest New Yorker swims up and bites you. Terrifying. In some countries children inherit debts of their deceased parents. In Illinois if your spouse dies you owe their medical debts. Wife died of cancer? You just lost your wife and your credit and your money and your future and your kids college fund. Right here in the good old USA. Over 50% of Americans do not have access to $1.000 in case of emergency. I run a brain cancer foundation. It just so happens that for patients on regular Medicare alone, no supplement the first copay for chemotherapy is about $1.000. You wouldn't believe the number of people who can't quickly come up with that $1.000. It has been shown that not getting it on time leads to an earlier death. We have a program to help pay it but just can't keep up with the demand. That we kill 100 million sharks a year. When I was in elementary school in the 1950s, the year 2000 seemed so far away. Now it's almost 2022. Blows my mind that I'm still alive. Haha <laughs> glad you're still alive if it counts for anything cheers. Was cleaning the toilet and poured bleach and then Harpic toilet cleaner. Ammonia. I was coughing up shit for two days straight. Turns out I made poisonous chloramine gas. Could have killed myself if I stayed in the bathroom longer. That's cleaning 101. That shit is fucking dangerous. I don't have statistics but I'm sure ignorance on this topic kills a few bunch of people per year. The number one cause of death for pregnant women is murder. The x-ray machine is largely responsible for the child protective movement. In the 40s and 50s cases for shaken baby syndrome were noticed causing a large push in child protection. What were they seeing on the x-rays? Were these kids still living? More aircraft were lost during World War II than there are airworthy aircraft flying today. The level of death and destruction in war is difficult to comprehend. As recently as 1980s, many researchers and doctors believed newborns and fetuses couldn't feel pain. So some were operated on without anesthesia. Edit, when I say this I don't talk about only circumcision. 
I talk about really invasive shit like open surgeries where the infant was only given a muscle relaxer to keep them from trashing during the intervention. Edit 2. Here's an article from 1986 that talks about it https colon slash slash www. Washington Post. Com archive lifestyle wellness the 13th of August 1986 surgery without anesthesia can premies feel pain slash 54 d 32183 dash 80 8 9066 9 dc 7 cf 0 f 82 edit 3 an article about how those who were subjected to those surgeries were affected https colon slash slash help for trauma com the 17th of september 2018 a life of quiet desperation what? That koalas carry chlamydia. I should see a doctor. The Taylor oil spill. So far it's leaked over a million gallons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. It started leaking in 2004. Before Deepwater Horizon. And is still leaking oil into the Gulf today. Next to nothing being done about it. HTTPS colon slash slash en m wikipedia or wiki Taylor oil spill exclamation point the reserves are likely sufficient for the spill to continue for up to 100 years if it is not contained holy shit i thought it was taken care of a few years ago france executed their last person by guillotine the same year star wars a new hope came out ants have passed the mirror test few people know this what is the mirror test fungi are much closer related to animals than either one are to plants and specifically to protostomes, bugs and worms of all sorts. Fungus cell walls are made of the same polymer that arthropods' exoskeletons are made of, and are coded for by the same gene. There have been proposals to reclassify fungi in the animal kingdom. I guess not really a fucked up fact for most people, but Harold Shipman was my father's family doctor, so when I was a baby I was held by a serial killer who murdered hundreds of people. Every so often I remember that fact and yet, it's pretty fucked up. My family doctor when my dad was born was a doctor in one of the holocaust camps. And he was wanted for war crimes in two countries. According to my grandmother he was a very nice man. The astronauts in the space shuttle Challenger were still alive after the failure of systems and rapid expansion of fuel commonly viewed as an explosion. Edited for the pedants. We know that at least a few of them were conscious for a few seconds. But it's unknown if they were beyond that. Much of the evidence that was found in the cockpit was consistent with an air depressurization, which would result in basically instant unconsciousness. They weren't wearing pressurized suits either, which in retrospect was kind of a blessing. You can easily kill someone and dispose of the body with bleach, lemon juice, and pigs. You got to starve the pigs for a few days, then the sight of a chopped up body will look like curry to a pisshead. You gotta shave the heads of your victims and pull the teeth out for the sake of the piggy's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course. But you don't want to go sieving through pig shit. Now do you? They will go through bone like butter. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting. So be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about 8 minutes. That means that a single pig can consume 2 pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. The fact that this thread is gonna end up on TikTok. Yup, in that annoying robotic voice too. Data on the effects of radiation on human beings was largely obtained by tests performed by various governments on unwitting civilians. Soldiers and POWs, even the US government is guilty of this. Some of these tests were performed knowing full well that the subject would die off or be severely harmed by the radiation exposure, and the details of what happened with each increasing dose of radiation make for some pretty disturbing reading. The original Blade Runner was set in 2015. Damn did they have some high expectations for us. Well, Soylent Green takes place in 2022. Get ready for a fun year. Human placentas now contain microplastics. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Thaguardian. Com environment slash 2020 slash deck slash 22 slash microplastics revealed in placentas unborn babies. Mr. Krabs sold SpongeBob's soul for 62 cents. You think he could have gotten more? Ducks are rapists. That Humpty Dumpty isn't an egg. Elaborate please. The sheer size of the nuclear contamination zone that's in the middle of Washington state, called the Hanford Reserve, 
No one speaks of how the middle of our state is unlivable due to the polluted groundwater from all the improperly stored nuclear waste. In many countries in the world cannibalism is actually legal. The only illegal thing is the way you obtain it. It's made that way so that planner crash survivors won't be prosecuted for, you know, surviving. That actually makes a lot of sense. There's a difference between eating people who have already died because you're starving and like kidnapping people for a midnight snack. That the same side of the moon always faces the earth. It just doesn't seem feasible to me. There is an experiment you can do that helps it make sense. Tell someone to turn around 360 degrees slowly. Face them. And circle around them while keeping your eyes on them. When you've done a full circle around them, you'll notice you have turned 360 degrees yourself. And when they, Earth, see you, Moon again, they still see the same sight, your face, because you kept facing them all this time, equals seeing the same image of the Moon, making it appear as if it doesn't turn. And that's called being tightly locked in Earth Moon terms. The T Rex is closer in time to the iPad than it is to the Stegosaurus. That bees kill wasps by sitting on them and then flapping their wings so hard. This creates a high heat that burns the wasp. It's not just wing flapping. They team up on the wasp hornet intruder and wiggle their butts together to create even more heat through friction. While their fluffy bodies are just good enough at isolating so that the body of the intruder will start to melt from the inside. It's less a death by burning and more a death by boiling. But boiling from within. The world's youngest billionaires Victoria Katerina and Carl Friedrich Flick are heirs to their great-grandfather's fortune. Friedrich Flick, a Nazi pose who was convicted at Nuremberg. Their father was embroiled in one of Germany's biggest post-war political scandals after all that as well. Their grandfather was responsible for 40. 000 slave worker deaths and profiteering from selling Jewish property amongst other despicable crimes. The really fucked up part is that there are a lot of rich German families in the same boat. And we get taught crime doesn't pay. Edinburgh in Scotland is further west than Liverpool. I'm from Liverpool and have been to Edinburgh many times over the years. How did I not know this? John Tyler, 10th President of the United States, 1841 to 1845, still has a living grandson. In Honduras the sister of the president sold medicine to the their National Health Service. The medicine turned out to be flour in three. Zero 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 people died. The president was later re-elected and backed by the US. Despite his brother Tony being convicted of mass narco-trafficking in the US. Honduran here. Our president also faked planned his own sister's death as a helicopter accident in order to deter the media from his electional fraud. I hate it here. Thanks for sharing it though. So more people can learn about us. The sire faked a vampire attack. I mean they really murdered a guy to achieve it. But something about the whole blood draining thing really takes it to the next level. The universe is expanding exponentially but no new matter is being generated within our space time. As the universe becomes bigger and bigger, it becomes colder and colder until it's so cold that atoms can't move and everything becomes frozen in place. In the black abyss. Now do the Scooby Doo ending. We put a man on the moon before we put wheels on a suitcase. Maybe not so fucked up but there is no cure for rabies once you develop symptoms. You just die. Slowly and painful. Edit. Of course I meant rabies. I'm sorry. Rabies is fucked up. A virus that evolved to hijack your nervous system and forces you to kill yourself. So that your infected carrion spreads the virus to other organisms and the process repeats. Most viruses try not to kill their hosts because you are most infectious when alive and spewing fluids. Rabies is the exception. It wants you dead. The newborn baby Megalodon shark was the same size as an adult great white shark. That's not fucked up that's cool -eth. A lot of people probably buried their hamsters alive because they didn't know hamsters hibernate. This immediately made my think of mine that's buried in the backyard. There are more slaves in the world today than there has ever been. Ever. We kill 100. 000. zero, zero. 000 zero, zero sharks a year and sharks kill 6 people a year but we label them as man eaters. In France you can still marry a dead person. And you can't name your pig Napoleon. Up until the 1990s the Catholic Church was teaching that unbaptized babies who died in childbirth were cast into purgatory. Imagine the stress and misery heaped onto the minds of millions of believers over the centuries. 
on top of the trauma of having just lost a baby, and very possibly the mother as well, in labor. People in South Dakota voted for legal weed and the governor told them they're too stupid to know how to vote correctly so she vetoed the entire state's vote. WTF. You can fit all the planets in our solar system side by side between the earth and the moon. Space is much bigger than we realize. Well, it is called space. A meteor exploded over earth in December, 2018, with the force of 10 atomic bombs and everyone missed it. This wasn't discovered by NASA scientists until after the fact. The reason it went largely undetected is because it took place over the Bering Sea in an area that was close but not directly on the path of commercial planes flying between North America and Asia. There are 8 sunken nuclear submarines. The US accidentally dropped 2 nuclear bombs over Goldsboro, North Carolina in 1961. I believe a B-52 bomber broke up mid-flight or something. These bombs are 260 times stronger than the one dropped in Hiroshima. Thankfully, they didn't go off. In the US, politicians are paid 175,000 a year with lifetime benefits and retirements to make laws and regulations directly affecting industry or individual corporations while in the same breath actively sit on boards and trade stock options for the exact same companies they are legislating and it's perfectly legal and completely normal to see $100 million net worth, all while voting down bills aimed at raising minimum wage to anything above $7.25 per hour for the average worker. It is insane that politicians are allowed to buy stocks. My home state of Texas never officially outlawed death by hanging, meaning that Texas can at any time legally hang a convicted person by the neck if they are sentenced to death, depending on the style of noose. Hanging someone can result in an instant death via broken neck. This is arguably more humane than our modern techniques. What's really fun to ponder is whether or not the guillotine and firing squad are actually more humane than modern methods. Gory and inhumane are not the same thing. Over 500. 000 people go bankrupt annually from medical bills in the US. Pug owners are expected to know how to reattach its eyes. Oh no. It's not reattaching but pushing the eyeball back into the socket. And it's better if done by a veterinarian. If it was unattached from the nerves and muscles, there'd be no point reattaching it. Bounty hunting and bounty hunters are active in the United States as well as here in the Philippines. While the practice of bounty hunting is illegal under the laws of most other countries, to be fair, a lot of the time it's not you see this person here, I want them dead. Bring me their head and I'll give you a million it's often things like bondsmen who want their money back calling in people to hunt down the bill dodgers and bring them in to either get a new court date, pay up, or go to prison for dodging the payment. Don't get me wrong I'm 100% positive there's plenty of the former style of bounty hunting happening on the dark web or in shady places but typically if you see a bounty hunter it's legit. The methods being used to create artificial human muscle graphs are pretty much the same methods used to make lab grown meat. Source, me, a PhD student making artificial muscle grafts. Also this is an oversimplification so in case my boss sees this, sorry. The United States has the largest prison population on earth, surpassing even China. On the other hand, China executes more prisoners per year than every other country on earth does combined. The majority of these executions occur in autumn. 1 in 2 men and 1 in 3 women, in the US will have cancer at some point in their life. Edit, I may be dyslexic. Ants fart pure oxygen, which is why I don't let mine smoke. Between 1965 and 1975, the United States and its allies dropped more than 7. 5 million tons of bombs on Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, double the amount dropped on Europe and Asia during World War II. Let that sink in. You can arrange a set of 13 different playing cards into more than 6 billion combinations. A commander in the Serbian army was convicted of genocide and mass sodomy. He got 18 years in jail. Mass sodomy? The Ford Pinto was a flaming death trap that Ford knew how to fix, and decided not to. The gas tank was fixed right behind an idiotically thin bumper, making puncturing the tank an almost absolute in the case of a rear-end collision. If such a collision were to occur, the light frame would also most likely bend around the doors, trapping the driver inside. Ford knew of these defects, but instead of recalling the cars, they decided that on average, 
they would mostly like only have to pay out around $230.000 per death, which was much cheaper than the recall, which would have cost millions. TL, DR, Ford estimated the cash value of a human life instead of fixing their cars. Staff at Ford wrote a memo proposing that the best response to exploding pintos that burned their owners alive was to just let them burn. It was cheaper to pay families of victims than to fix the problem. Hundreds of people suffered burn deaths in pintos. For all the corruption that happened to collapse the 2008 housing market and economy worldwide one person went to jail. Operation Meeting House, which was conducted on the night of the 9th to the 10th of March, 1945 is the single most destructive bombing raid in human history, of central Tokyo 16 square miles, 41 square kilometers, 10, 000 acres, were destroyed, leaving an estimated 100, 000 civilians dead and over 1 million homeless, it was more destructive than Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. The US government has repeatedly tested biological weapons and agents on their own population. 1 in 5. 000 babies is born without a functioning butt. I learned about this when my son was born. His tailbone is set a little funny so he's got a deep dimple right above his anus. The nurses took a while checking out his butt and so was like a something wrong? Head nurse goes. Just making sure he doesn't have two anuses. It's extremely rare. But it happens. So does not having one at all. We were like. WTF. Us Navy sprayed. Serration Marcessons, https colon slash slash, en, wikipedia, org wiki serration Marcessons, and, bacillus globigii, https colon slash slash, en, wikipedia, org wiki bacillus globigii, over San Francisco to determine how vulnerable it would be in a situation of a bioweapon attack, authorities were not informed, it wasn't an isolated incident, https colon slash slash, en, Wikipedia. Org wiki operation sea spray. If you weighed all the ants in the world, it would weigh more than all the people in the world. The snacks were free this whole time, but why would he charge them? Operation Northwoods. The government planned on doing false flag bombings to blame Cuba Russia back in the Cold War era. Epstein client list is still out there, enjoying life, living the rich life. If we kill humans the same speed we kill animals for food, the entire population would be gone in 17 days. Justice is paywalled. Oh no, not the thread I needed before bed. That it was not uncommon for people to be buried alive by accident in the old days, which is why they started inserting cords in coffins which are attached to bells on top of graves that the presumed dead cam uses a distress signal. There are things far worse than death.